I have been setting my alarm clock for seven o'clock in the morning. I don't need the alarm clock no more because you know what it is? At six o'clock a.m. on the dot, six o'clock in the morning, people, on the dot, I hear the kids next door bouncing the basketball like if there's no tomorrow. I hear this one saying, hey, Johnny, throw it into the hoop. Uh, Michelle, throw it over to here. I'm like, I'm saying to myself, I'm trying to sleep. I still got one more hour to sleep. And these kids are bouncing the basketball. Go do something else. Read a book. Go play something else. Now it's 6 o'clock in the morning. Bouncing the basketball. Hey, Michelle, watch out. Throws the basketball. Then Johnny, uh, put it to the hoop. I'm like, what the heck is these kids doing? It's 6 o'clock in the morning. Playing basketball at 6 o'clock in the morning. I'm still trying to sleep. I'm like, oh, my gosh. These kids don't stop. I can't. They can't. They can't just go socialize like through like Zoom, FaceTime, watching YouTube videos. You know, Sharon, you're not nothing better than me. Okay, no, Sharon, you're not. I don't want to hear it because Sharon, not for anything. You and Terry got some nerve at six o'clock. I'm sorry, six thirty in the morning. You both are cooking breakfast. I hear in the dishes stop breaking. This and that. I don't want to hear it. That's another story with you too, please. And meanwhile, please that you Johnny and uh, when I don't want to get started. Anyway, that's my story for this morning. I mean. Why can't they just socialize a different way? Can they just play basketball? Maybe at like 1 o'clock in the afternoon, maybe when I'm not home. Maybe play by basketball, this and that. I mean, come on. This is just too, too much. I can't deal with this kind of stuff in the morning.